All righty. All right, so I'm going to go and play at the hotel. And we are going to try to complete this Easter egg for the first time ever. For the first time ever. Now, I've already completed one Easter egg in this thing. Because I wanted to be able to show you guys all of the features, all of the good stuff. Like, I already have. All right? So, now that I've done that. Now that I've kind of learned my way around everything. I'm going to tell you right now, this is one of the funnest games you need to follow him and that I've been in in quite a while. And I'm going to say that with the respects of, if you look in the le left-hand corner, look at it. Look at it. You see the left-hand corner up there. It tells you what to do for the Easter egg, which I am going to go ahead and be the one to say, I absolutely love that, bro. Like, it doesn't just give away everything that you're supposed to do. Like, as far as, like, it doesn't give away the positions of where every single thing is. But it gives you a little bit of guidance so that way you're not just losing your mind trying to go around and pressing square or X on every single thing just because you don't know where to go. So it makes it really, really fun for, you know, people just stepping in. And I like how you can upgrade your character. I love that as well, and I know I've said that multiple, multiple times, that games need to make it to where the more that you play them, the more your character is upgraded for online play, and not, oh, well, we'll just make you pay for it, and that will upgrade your character, because nobody wants to do that, and it just doesn't give you that sense of, like, oh, well, you know, he really grinded for the game. It's like, nah, he just paid for it. Like, everything's just paid for, so why would you want to play a game that you just got to pay for, it, right? This gives you that sense of, like, oh, I'm going to have to grind this game out so I can have that overpowered character. And I love that. I think that that's the way to keep people interested in coming back. And even if you do upgrades, like, to the game, you can always upgrade, um, you know, the enemy levels or the enemy boss fight or whatever the case may be to, to keep it entertaining to give yourself an extra you know sense of difficulty in the game speaking of difficulty this is where you can increase or decrease and i probably need to be showing you guys that whenever i don't have a bunch of zombies around me and what you saw me just drink right there was a uh, health potion so decrease difficulty increase difficulty really cool feature because if, if it's too easy for you you can go ahead and increase that difficulty and the zombies will become a lot harder and you'll i think you get a little bit more rewards for it but don't hold me uh don't hold me accountable for that because i'm not really sure that's me just guesstimating because that what's that's what makes sense and i'm sure that that's what it is but uh don't take my word for it please. so if you're wondering why i'm uh going around the pink stuff that is actually gas that I can't walk through or I get hurt, and I'll show you guys. So watch my health. You see I'm getting hurt from that gas, so you cannot go in the purple stuff. I mistaken one time and just sat there in it because I thought I was safe, and I was absolutely not. This is a mini boss already on round two. And you can make these potions do different things, and I'll show you in a miracle here in just a minute. Let me get this guy out of here. So we're chilling now. We're good. So now the miracles is potion elixir, critical fire, or fire stab. So I can either do something to my melee, I can do something with my weapons, or I can do something with my elixir. So I really like doing the stuff with the elixir because I like to start using it a lot, even though this is some new feature that we haven't ever had in a Call of Duty. Uh, and if we have, I might be forgetting about it, but... Uh, I don't remember it right off the top of my head. But I really think that that's like a really cool idea for a zombies game. Alright, so we're just going to keep him. Alright. And so you'll notice that they pointed out what you need to kill. What you need to shoot. At first, I actually died in this room. I actually died in this room. So 
it's actually not bad that I died in this room because now I get to show you guys how you can revive. So, if you have a revive token, your friend no longer picks you up. I absolutely love this because it makes sense. So, if you have a life token, which is like a quick revive or whatever, you can come over here and claim a revive. And now you're back. So, I think that that is really cool. And even if you're in a duo match, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. You can go and revive yourself. Now, if you have not gotten yourself a revive token, your friend will have to go and buy a revive token to get you back. So right here, I think I'm just going to pick Ice Bomb because that's going to control my Molotov. And you can see the, what I have right here in my Miracles. Miracles are really cool. I haven't really messed with this uh, little up button much. I actually need to probably figure out what that is. So this is just a protect it kind of thing. And then they tell you to go put it right here. So we'll go put it right here. So now canisters replace. We have zero out of three. So now we have to go find the rest of the containers. So let's go ahead and do that. And they have something that's kind of like the mystery box, which I'll go to here in just a minute. And I really like that these zombies are not really, really sticky. And what I mean by that is like, you can run by them and they won't fully just stop you right in your tracks. Trying to kind of let this uh let this thing do its thing i'll go ahead and get the safeguard right here i think safeguard is your damage yeah yeah you don't take damage whenever you have safeguard or actually you do i'm sorry i, I don't really know what safeguard does maybe it's just a couple swings uh, i'm not very sure on that and i just got stuck that's all right we're still good so i'm just gonna go ahead and put this in one of these containers right here doesn't matter it doesn't matter which one you do. So now we've got one of the three containers completed. I want to say that there was another container, but I don't remember where it's at, honestly. I'll be the first one to uh, let you know. I do not know where all of these containers are. So we're just gonna go around here and we're gonna look for the container real quick. I thought they were all in the first, uh, I thought they were all in the first room, but maybe they're not. Looks like that they are not all in the first room. So now it looks like we're gonna have to go around and actually try to find these bad boys. So maybe spawn locations change for this, but that's okay. It's all good. Last time I played this, Lucky was right here. We're just looking for something sparkling here. Kind of kept all my cash on purpose so that way I could run around and try to find out where the uh, where the container is. Where we can go ahead and fill it up. You run kind of fast, which is kind of nice. All right, so we, we kind of got downstairs, kind of run, run. We already kind of know where to go. There's nothing this way. There's a little bit of stuff that this that is this way. Let me see if we got anything over here. We have nothing over this way. So as you can tell, it tells you to come back over this way, but not all the containers are over this way.
I love the sliding in this. It feels a little clunky, but it's fast. And I love that about this. It's very, very nice. Like, it's that happy medium, bro. Like, it's like... I don't know. Like, it's fast and quick. It feels good. But you can see, you can see the clunkiness on the screen. I know that probably doesn't make sense, but... That's all I got for you. So, just keep you guys informed. Uh, Lucky, right here, this dog deal is like the mystery box inside of this game. So, it looks like we're going to have to go another round. I don't have another weapon, so... It's unfortunate that I haven't found uh, Lucky yet. And of course, this is the scary map. The scary time. Because you can't see anything at all, and this big guy is summoned. So you have to kill all of these things. I like that you can actually dodge punches and stuff. That is really nice. So as you saw right there, I just dove up under that guy. It's really cool. I have no, no bullets. But I can go refill on these things. So those things are the refill stations. So I killed all of them so that way I can actually see this guy. Looks like I have a miracle point. Let me see what that is. Uh, poison stab. I like that. So it looks like the poison stab is working. Take a little bit of this. Those guys are just so freaking annoying, dude. Well, that worked nice. Got him out of there. We got a little max ammo over here. Need that. Need that, my friend. Yeah, there's not much about this game that I just really don't like, honestly. Oh, here's Lucky. That's Lucky. He's such Let's get a it. faithful dog. He might be able to help you. Good boy. Sometimes you can get oh, you can get tier one. So tier one, tier two, tier three. That is all the pack a punch levels. That is all of the pack a punch levels. Here's another canister. Look at there. Got that. Let's go ahead and go fill it up. What? So this does less than my actual knife? That's not good. We gone. We gone, just like that. I forgot where to put this, actually. No, like, I actually... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Follow the lines. Follow the lines. I forgot. Yep. There we go. 
So there's a trial that's over here, and we have to go do the trial, or everyone gets enraged. Plus, you get I think you get some cool stuff for completing the trial. So I got 3,500. Let's go see what the trial looks like. For some reason, he's not coming out, but he's supposed to. Lightning fires for your attacks. Creates a... Oh, bro. I bet that's pretty nice. There you go, homie. Oh no. See what I'm saying? They're not they're not really that sticky. So that that's really nice. So we have one more canister that we need to go find. That guy's annoying too. Gonna get him out of there. All right, so let's go find this other canister while we have one more person. What is this? Increase movement speed. Go ahead and get that perk. And we moving, baby. Moving. Moving. Let's go see what we have to unlock. We got we got a little bit of coin. I really, really like the MP5. I think it's one of my all-time favorite weapons in this game. It's pretty, pretty nice. I just opened up an unnecessary door. That's not unnecessary though. We needed this one. First time I came through here, it was wild. It was wild. Uh oh. We're back. So here's the life tokens, $2,500. That does nothing. I'm sure that there's a switch or something that you can flip. Trying to find out where the other container is. It's not the easiest to find. Is it in here? No. It's gotta be in this other direction here. Surely, right? No? I just 
just don't need to be in here. Dude, this MP5 just destroys. Oh. Found it. Found it. It was hiding on me. Let's go uh, fill this bad boy up. This MP5 just on a different level. Alright, I think we take a right right here and we'll be done. Alright. She sent our family ships to scour yeah, the yeah. globe for these mythical creatures. Give me that. What she did to them was inhumane. It's actually the first time I've been around here. I've never done this. I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know where I'm at. Oh. Hey, we got a wonder weapon? What? Your boy got a wonder weapon? that I'm in here with like oh we got a teleporting machine okay I, I, I think that that was I wonder what the musket does musket's got to do something right hey yo I think it's good, but I think this thing's pretty good, but I think it just needs to be upgraded a little bit. Hey, it turned my lights back on, so I like that. It does 1,300 damage. This is legit. Wow. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I guarantee if we if we're able to upgrade it, I guarantee it's, it's banging. I just I want to explore this place a little bit. It's hard to whenever you got zombies all over the place. Like, is this it? Maybe this is it? No, surely not. No, because it's telling us to go somewhere. Oh, well, we can't go that way. I think we got to just go back. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. I don't know if that does anything, but uh. I'm gonna go see if I can upgrade this.
The maps are really nice. Ooh, yeah, baby. This machine The maps are really nicely laid out, which I think any of us could be appreciative of. How much I need? 25? Oh, yo. Watch this. Just mowing them down, baby. got to do it says come over this way what are we coming over this way for okay all right we got uh looks like use the howler in dark to enter the cryptic code okay all right so we have to get in dark which means we have to go up under See what this bad boy does now. Okay, this makes sense. Let's try to go up underneath because uh, so it shoots a ball that goes straight forward and goes through enemies and hurts everyone. So I don't know what the code is. I don't even know how to get it. Y'all saw the ball? Okay. All right, we're good now. That's really cool. This is doing some damage too, homie. Upgrade that ice bomb, baby, because we're gonna need it. I love the ice bomb. We have all but one. All of these zombies real quick. I actually can't wait to upgrade it one more time.
Don't know what that is. Oh, I, I forgot to, uh... I didn't, uh, do the, uh, the trial. Three, one, two, four. Three, one, two, four. Three, one, two, four. I guess that's the way that I have to do it. Three, one, two, four. Three, one, two, four. Two. Unfortunate. I am sorry. It wasn't supposed to end this way. Well, as you can see, it's pretty entertaining. I hope that you guys did enjoy that for the people that are watching the video. And uh, let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think? about Skr Ritual. What do you think about it? What do you think? It's actually really fun. Really, really fun.